So the Feynman inverter comes in two options. Option one is transformer based, option two is transformerless based. Now they make this design for certain people. Yeah. If you are somebody that is too raw, somebody that does not know how to handle gadget very well, then you go for the transformer base. But if you are somebody gentle, somebody calm like me, then you go for the transformer less. Now, you have to understand that each of these inverter have its own place. Yes. Like I said, if you are raw, if you don't know how to handle or you mishandle gadgets or electronics, then you go for the transformer base because they are more rugged, they are, you know, withstand uh, uh, rough handling or mishandling. But the transformerless guy, on this other hand, is just like a white man. When he's under sun, he becomes pink. So when you mishandle your transformerless inverter, it you know gets spoiled easily. So if you are somebody that know, that doesn't know how to handle electronics, go for the transformer base. That means you have to spend more because the transformer base are more expensive compared to the transformerless base. But if you are a gentle guy, a calm guy like me, you can go for the transformerless. It's also rugged. When you don't mishandle it, somebody like me can use a transformerless inverter for the next 15 years without having any problem because I know how to go with them. So if you are somebody of that nature, then you go with the transformerless. They are more cheaper compared to the transformer base. So uh, the Feynman inverter have an uh, option like a 3 kilowatt and 5 kilowatt inverter. The 3 kilowatt, you can get a transformer base. You can also get a transformerless base. The 5 kilowatt, you can also get a transformer base and get the transformerless base. So the decision is now yours to make. If you are rugged or you want ruggedity, you go for transformer base. If you want a gentle guy, a cool guy that will not you know, give you stress when it comes to mobility or when it comes to transportation, then you go with the transformerless. They are more lighter in weight compared to the transformer base. So the transformer base inverter, not everybody can carry it and start moving around, but the transformerless, you can just put, in your, put it in your Ghana must go and start moving up and down. Both of them are hybrid inverters and both of them deliver very well. Both are pure sine wave inverters, but the choice is still yours and that depends on the ruggedity you are looking for. So if you are looking for roughness, transformerless, uh, transformer base. If you are looking for come and gentle guy, you go for the transformerless because uh, for the past five days now, I've been using uh, the transformerless uh, 3 kilowatt from Fairman Inverter and I can say I've loved it so far. Aside every other thing, the only thing that made me to fall in love with the Perman inverter is the fact that you can come to my house and you think I'm using power from the grid because you never hear a single sound from the fan or maybe like a little distortion from the inverter. Everything is just quiet. Like I don't have inverter in the house, but my inverter is working. So the choice is yours to make whether you want the transformer base or the transformer less. All of them are cool to go with. You just make your choice. One is more rugged and more expensive. The other one is more cheaper and is still rugged. Yeah.